We just got back from the ride and I'm just gonna tell you guys up front right now, if you get this tune, you absolutely will not regret it. 100% it's worth it. It's the best upgrade I've made on this machine so far. I'm super excited. I'm getting my ECU tuned by Main Street Cycle for my 1000 Overland. I also have the carbon fiber air intake upgrade and an upgraded filter. I'm gonna start off by doing some testing so I can get a baseline on how the 1000 Overland performs right now. I have 30 inch tires, an MSE stage one clutch kit, and a two inch lift. I'm gonna be using this GPS app. I don't know how accurate it is. I'm hoping it's at least consistent. Let's go get those numbers. I'm gonna do five runs in high, average those numbers, and then compare them after we get the ECU tune. Well, that wraps up the testing. Let's go get the ECU removed and sent off to Main Street Cycle. I believe it's under here somewhere. All right, so I think it's supposed to be right here. So I accidentally took the whole front cover off, but it's actually this back cover, the ECU's right there. So I thought that was gonna be the ECU. So I'll give you guys an idea. Then you come in here, got this back plastic off, and then you're tucked up. All right, I got the ECU out. The bolts, there's a bolt down here and a bolt up there and that's it. Next up is changing out the air filter. That's gonna be super easy. I'm gonna take the seat off and that cover and show you what's underneath. Now all I have to do is unscrew both the clamps and pull both the elbow and the filter off. That's it. All right, I got a better idea. Let's put this in here. There we go, all right. All right, go ahead and tighten that one real quick. I do wanna make sure that air box is gonna close. That looks, looks just about right. So I'm gonna tighten that up and then I'll put the air box lid back on. There it is all buttoned back up, looking nice and purdy. Full disclosure, Main Street Cycle is doing this ECU tuning for free, but this video isn't sponsored. They're not actually paying for it. I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion and tell you I hope how much I absolutely love this ECU tune. It just came in today. Now it's time to reinstall it. Blake also hooked me up with a shift knob, gas cap, keychain, some stickers, some shirts. And as you can see, he got me a couple hats. Man, he hooked me up with the MSC gear. I'm so stoked. I really appreciate it, Blake. Make sure you guys go check out his channel, Real Talk Power Sports, if you haven't seen it. Man, he has got some awesome, awesome CF Moto content. Be sure to go check it out. You guys saw me uninstall this. Now it's time to put it back exactly how I found it. Well, not exactly. It's got a little bit something better going on the inside. All the plastics are buttoned back up. I did turn the machine on to make sure the ECU is connected properly and everything's good to go. Ready to rock and roll. Oh, not ready to rock and roll yet. One more very important thing to do. Dude, how sweet does that look? Look at that. Check it out, I even decided to rock their sticker. Let me tell you guys, that was a blast. It's definitely a huge difference with the tune and the new air intake. I don't know how the numbers are gonna compare. You guys will see it on the screen here, but the real comparison for me is gonna be taking it out on the trails and seeing how it performs. 
Let's go do that now. our first little bit of deep snow so i'm gonna go out there and play do some cookies uh, i'm gonna start out in two-wheel drive because that's the best way to do cookies i love being out in the mountains hunting for sasquatch right that's right <laughs> and guys i can tell you right now the power from this ecu tune is 100 percent noticeable it's not just like oh by the seat of my pants it feels like this it is absolutely a huge improvement That 500 is no slouch either. It's a great machine. I gotta say so far it's doing amazing the snow definitely isn't as deep as i'd hoped for but we're still having a blast we're sliding around a little bit it's a ton of fun this tune i could not be happier with it one thing i really like about it that i wasn't really anticipating is the increased speed in low i've been in low almost all day and i've never hit the speed limiter yet that definitely opens up a lot more opportunities to be in low when you should be in low and not have to worry about stopping and shifting back into high. And you guys check out this view. These new uh, carnivores are doing pretty good in the snow too. I gotta apologize to you guys. We did let a Can-Am tag along. I know, I know. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hot coffee on a cold day in the snow. It doesn't get better than this. Oh, still piping hot too, that's great.
let me tell you guys, oh, that tune is ridiculous. It like just unleashes the beast inside the machine, as silly as that sounds. I think getting the ECU tune is 100% worth it. If you decide to do it, you're absolutely not gonna regret it. So to finish the video, I have kind of a silly, fun little thing that we're gonna do. The 1000 Overland and the 1000 Maverick are gonna drag race, which is pretty silly. They're completely different machines. We'll both be in two wheel drive and high, so the settings will be the same. Obviously, I've done a lot of upgrades on this. The Maverick is bone stock. It's definitely not a comparison, but you know what? It's gonna be a fun way to end the video. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. close but i think the can-am had me by like probably a tire leg. i don't know i got you like right off but you started creeping right back up yeah, like yeah. you started catching up this is quick yeah that was that was cool uh, it was closer than i expected that was fun <laughs> was the the can-am like i said bone stock and definitely a way heavier machine so yep yep but, but this thing i'll tell you what the power this has with that ecu tune like you said, you can't go wrong. That sucker is fun. Brandon is a new friend of mine. He helped us out a lot with the video today. All the drone footage, that was all him. You guys should go to squatchnut.com and go check out his stuff. If you like Sasquatches, if you're on the hunt for them, go check it out. Anything you want to tell them about your website? Yeah, it's anything and everything about Sasquatch. So if you're nuts about Sasquatch, you're a Squatch Nut. And you belong with us at squatchnut.com. Thanks again, man, for today. Yeah, Super thank you. Fun.